Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off uh, this MGB GT V8, um, factory V8, finished in aconite, as you can see behind me here. Uh, two videos, one walk around and one driving with a bit of uh, starting and idling action thrown in on the driving video as well. Hope you like them. Okay, quick video of start up and idling from hot on this BGT V8. Hear the fans cutting in there. There we are, running nicely. Nice low idle. I'll show you under bonnet now. Okay, now how about that for a beautifully clean engine bay? Absolutely exceptional. Yeah, the electric fans wearing away. Yeah. Gorgeous engine. Okay, let's take this uh, MGB GT V8, proper factory V8, for a spin. Now, odometer is showing 36,000 miles. I imagine that's 136, but I'll be able to uh, say yes, yes or no when I've looked at the history. It'd be nice if it was a genuine 36,000 miles, but uh, I think it's probably unlikely. But the, the car is superb. It's absolutely beautiful in every respect. So, all light comes on as it should. Ignition light comes on as it should. They don't have an all light. And the V8 fires up nicely. Whether it's hot or cold, it's a nicely set up V8 on this one. Um, no signs of any misfiring, hesitancy or overheating. If you've never driven one of these before, compared to a standard MGB, which a lot of people have driven, these are an absolute revelation. Um, just everything about them, the V8 absolutely transforms these cars, um, including the steering, which is actually lighter than in a standard uh, MGB because the all aluminium Rover engine is lighter than the standard engine, standard 1.8. original four-speed box in it. it. Copes nicely with these bumps. This is a very bumpy road and getting worse by the day. Especially all this building work going on. Oh, what's going on here? I'm stuck in a traffic jam while people play after you. Um, but, I mean, the, the B copes quite happily with it. As I say, no signs of any misfiring hesitancy or overheating from it. Just gets on with it. Once you get these into top gear, which we are now, it'll just waft along at, uh, well, as we're stuck behind a van, we're down to 
30 mile an hour now. It's quite happily just right now down in third in fairness. <laughs> Talking nonsense clearly. That's fourth. Yeah, we're just doing 30 mile an hour behind this van now. So apologies, I'm not gonna be able to show you it driving at speed, but it is completely unflappable at speed. Very good. With these, you kind of feel that a standard B, we're doing 50 miles an hour now, you're beginning to run out of path really, whereas these. under braking, no pulsing through the pedal or uh, trembling through the wheel or anything. Gearbox is nice, no synchro problems on the box. And there we have it, Look, she is absolutely superb in every respect. Um, I can't think of, apart from say that slightly slight like kink in the aerial, I really can't think of anything amiss with it. There we have it.